Hi everyone, it's me Shalina back for another Tuesday Talks and I guess I have to say Happy New Year even though it's already February um, but it's my first Tuesday Talks of the year so I hope your 2023 was off to a good start, is going swimmingly. Today I'm here with a special guest, Starlet. Hello. We are actually, let's see, office mates in a way. We both have um, our businesses in the same building. Yeah. Starlet is a massage therapy, and please tell us the name of your business. Um, it is Starlet Therapies. So uh, I started it 2016, you know, with the goal of helping people reduce stress in the workplace. And uh, it's just been growing, you know, ever since. And uh, that's what we're doing, going into workplaces. Uh, we have the office here, but we're going into, um, you know, different corporate offices to offer you know, 15, 30 minute sessions, massage therapy to employees, which they really appreciate. So uh, we're doing our job. Well, that's great. And we are going to talk today about having healthy conversations and professional boundaries. And so it might not seem like a link being a massage therapist and having great information on how to have healthy conversations, but you explain to us what the link is, why this is a topic of interest for you. Well, you know, Talking a lot of times is our main form of communication and uh, I mean we speak with body language too, which I you know just happen to study I'm touching people's bodies all the time um, but One thing that's really important in building relationships Which you either you can do it professionally you can do it personally. I mean we tend to do both is How to interact with people properly, mm-hmm. you know um, and how to have healthy conversations when you're dealing with frustration or hard topics you know to talk about and um, you know I run into this when I'm you know massaging people when they're on the table I have to remember to keep things professional right Mm -hmm. I have to remember to remain neutral it's not always good to give my opinion um, or my input so it's very good for me to practice active listening and that carries over to uh, my personal life you know as well as you know my professional life so I um, you know I think of all the time how do I say what I need to say without being offensive you know um, and that's really what it is okay well you mentioned active listening so let's start there okay so what are your you know explain what active listening is, I mean, you know, the condensed version. <laughs> I know there's more you know, There's more to it. And like your top two or three tips about how to be an active listener. So, number one, you, you have to know that you, you'll always have, uh, I guess, triggers through a conversation, right? Things that you may want to elaborate on. Um, and sometimes, me personally, I can cut people off. But in active listening, I'm taking in all of the information. And so that's what you want to do. You take in the information that people are giving you. You take in the tone. What are they trying to say? Maybe it's something exciting. Maybe it's something that's not exciting. It's hard to talk about. But if you sit back and you listen, and then you ask more questions than just saying what you think someone wants to hear or what you yourself want to say, Mm -hmm. then you can have a healthier conversation. Okay, so it sounds like part of active listening is being curious because you mentioned asking maybe more questions as opposed to interjecting or sharing your thoughts on what someone says. Absolutely, absolutely. Because sometimes you can assume that people mean one thing when they mean another. Hmm. And sometimes people say things um, that when you dig a little further, they didn't mean it, you know, so offensively. So say um, someone says, hey, you know, I really don't like the way you act when, you know, I'm here. I I think that you act kind of funny. Instead of saying- funny acting. (laughs) (laughs) Instead of being defensive, Mm -hmm. explain to me what you mean. Mm-hmm. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't mean to come off that way. Tell me what you mean. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that is 
Oh, that's so huge. Yeah. To me, that seems some, like something that's actually really hard for humans to do. Yeah, yeah. Is when someone presents you with information that maybe is a criticism or a suggestion or something that you might not like. Our instinct is to armor up and defend and kind of... But you're saying if we can get ourselves to then say, tell me more about that, or why do you feel that, yeah, or yeah. explain, you know, Absolutely. I'm in, and that's kind of being curious and being vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, are you supposed to be vulnerable oh and active and listening? <laughs> <laughs> you said we should be vulnerable, because um, a lot of times people, you know, we I feel like we emote more when we're hurt, mm. and we could um, be more defensive when we're hurt, and, and all while we're trying to say, you hurt my feelings or something like that it comes off as hey you know mm. you just have a way of defending yourself so in and having healthier conversations you got to dissect slower you have to dissect slower mm. you have to listen well even though you may want to speak you have to listen you have to listen for tone and and just the fact that you ask a question and say hey listen I'm sorry that I didn't mean to offend you. When you said thus and such, what did you mean by that? And when you become the person trying to get softly to the bottom of an issue, you you soften other people. Mm. And so now you're communicating. Now you're having a healthier conversation. Right. And okay, you said that I was acting funny and, and the reason why I feel you know, that I'm acting different is because I'm afraid of dot, 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 dot. I think that our relationship is going to change and I'm afraid of that. So now we're here, we're having a dialogue. Yeah, now we're having a dialogue and there's not this fence between us. Right. Well, and I noticed something else you did, which was so great, is you introduced physical touch because when you reenacted the conversation, you reached out. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's And it... it we speak through body and we speak through our, our mouth. 90% uh, of communication though is body language. Mm -hmm. And so this is an interesting dynamic as I touch people all the time. I can tell when they're on my table where they're tense. Mm -hmm. it, and sometimes we're talking and I'm touching them at the same time. So I have to play two dynamics. I have to actively listen and I have to make sure that my touch is um, soothing to them. Mm -hmm. I have to let them know it's okay. If you're not, you know, if you feel down about a certain thing, it's okay. And then sometimes I have to navigate a com navigate through the conversation so that we we end up somewhere positive because I want their experience to be positive. Right. You know, at the end of the day. But um, like I said, in in having these healthier conversations, dissecting things slowly the act of listening and, you know, asking, asking questions and then make your point. When you said such and such and, and you thought that I was acting funny, I, I didn't mean to act that way. I was protecting myself from something you said earlier, which was a trigger because I assumed you thought that, you know, whatever it is. This. That's such good advice. And from my perspective, what I'm hearing, and these are all things I definitely need to work on, all of us do. <laughs> is that you're having a conversation in a way that instead of kind of defending yourself yeah. or the ego, yeah. it's really about really being curious and wanting to preserve the relationship yeah. and wondering like, okay, this person's frustrated with me or has a criticism of me mm -hmm. or has an issue. How do we get to the bottom of it? How do we both walk away feeling really good about this conversation? Yeah, so... As opposed to def being defensive. You know that when you're... If, if you're able to have these conversations, um, you have to keep reiterating, you know, because I don't want to hurt you. And I also don't want to be hurt. These are phrases that you should say in the conversation. I don't want to I don't want to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh no, did you see my face give me away? <laughs> I did want to be slight like, oh. Which is because those things are beautiful, but that's also, it's being vulnerable. It's being completely it's vulnerable. vulnerable. This is yeah. how you have a healthy conversation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the tears come out. That's okay. You can cry through it. <laughs> okay, you can cry through it. 
And, um, you know, it's something that I, I think I've been practicing for a long time. You'll always be practicing it because um, that's just what we do. And, and you could also say this phrase, like you said, what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing you say is thus and such. Is that what you meant? Right. Okay. Asking for clarity yeah. within the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then you do, you find that in humbling yourself, you don't have to defend yourself so much. Mm, okay. So let's recap. Yeah. So active listening, being curious. Yeah. Probably pausing before you respond. Mm -hmm. Um. Being vulnerable, yeah. which can include incorporating touch, yeah. asking follow-up questions. Mm -hmm. What was that last one you just said? You were talking about something. I'm sorry, I made Oh, a something about asking for clarity. I heard this. Yeah, or yeah, what yeah. I, yeah. Reiterating, yeah. reiterating what they said in a conversation. Right. You know, and if you are the person that needs to go and have the conversation, tough conversation, hey, do you mind if we talk for a minute? Mm -hmm. Uh, good phrases to start a conversation with. I'm not sure you're aware of this, but I notice uh, you get defensive when we talk about this. Mm -hmm. Is that something that happened that I should be aware of? Hmm. So that's like a combo, a twofer of being vo uh, asking vulnerable questions, mm -hmm. soliciting feedback yeah. about your communication yeah. style or interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I do have a question yeah. for you. I am like kind of a all over the place, talk fast, think fast, really excited. Sometimes I try to be an active listener by affirming mm -hmm. or saying like, oh, basically, how do you draw the line with letting people know you're listening, but not interrupting? Like, so encouraging them, agreeing, being excited about what they're saying, but not taking them off their train of thought. Or interrupting their flow because that's think, something I need to work on. I think you did. I think you did it very well tonight. Tonight, uh, you're waiting for the pause. Ah, that's okay. It. You're waiting for the pause. Wait for the pause. Yeah, pause and thought. Okay. What I heard you say was da 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 da, and you summarize it. You did it really well. I have an issue sometimes with you know being all over the place too, but um, that's the way. Wait for the pause. Wait for the pause. I like that. And for some of us and. Typically, it's woman folk more than men. We might have a less of a pause. We, you know, yeah. talk fast, move fast. And part of our conversational style, a lot of times, whether it's, I think it's all women, whether black woman or white woman. And another time we can talk about cultural differences is that's part of the way we communicate yeah. is kind of interjecting and talking mm -hmm. over each other and, and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like fast driving lanes, you know, like <laughs> what Europe or something like that where they're just driving through each other. Nobody crashes, but right. It yeah. it is kind of a symphony and coordinated. It yeah. might seem like chaos, but no, it's yeah. There, there's some sort of order to it. Okay, so before we go, and I have to say definitely you'll have to come back in sometime in twenty twenty three because you're just a fount of information. Oh thank you. What's the link between this what you what you're promoting as healthy conversation and wellness well that is a part of wellness hmm. being able to communicate <laughs> yeah exactly imagine you can't communicate to anybody that you need food you know like you got to find a way to do it and it's easier on the soul you feel like you can be yourself um sometimes we have issues with people um about things that may seem insignificant to other people, but they're major to us. Let people know. Mm, let people know. We need to know what your triggers are. You know, if you don't like the color blue, and I'm always wearing it, you might not like me, but I don't know <laughs> because you didn't tell me that the color blue reminds you of a time in your life where you did thus and such. Right. And we could end up being the best of friends, but you avoid me because I'm wearing blue. But I don't know. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, he healthy conversations is certainly a part of wellness, you know. Um, you know, it's like the first line of you know defense. Or I'm not sorry, not line of defense. It's it's like the first line of I guess being human. Well, when you are explaining that to me, it made me think that part of being healthy is getting your needs met. Oh, thank you. It's getting your needs met and. 
a lot of us, myself included, sometimes aren't getting our needs met because we're not willing to be vulnerable and admit our needs to ourselves and others and communicate those to people so that then they can help us fulfill our needs. So yeah. it's like basic one on one. Listen, at some yeah. point I'm gonna write the ebook, say what you need to say. Ooh. Yeah. Cause that's it. I like this title. We're holding you to that. Say what you need to say. Um, we'll definitely have you back when that ebook is done and ready to be sold. Yeah. Is that a deal? That's a deal. Okay. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Bye.